The next plugin of the VFX series is the Key Mapper. So let's have a look at it. Hi. The VFX Key Mapper is all about the pitch of the incoming notes. It is at the very end a simple input-output remapper. The notes from the piano roll or your keyboard come in at the left-hand side and the squares on the corresponding rows dictate which notes get sent out. It can be the same. Any other? Or even multiple ones at the same time, for each incoming note separate. Orange squares mean it's set to the same note like the incoming one. Red squares mean the incoming pitch is changed. The bass key defines the visual order but doesn't alter the sound in this case. The offset slider on the other side changes the pitch of all notes which are sent out in semitones and has a range of plus minus one octave. Rows which contain multiple notes are affected by the multi-mode menu. You can set how the notes shall be played, all together as a chord altogether gain compensated that the sum of the notes are as loud as single notes would be. Random, which place a note after each other in a random order. Cycle up, which plays a classic upstyle arpeggio. Cycle Down, which plays a classic down style arpeggio. Pitch Slide adds a portamento effect to the additional notes. A left click on free grid slots adds notes. A left click on existing notes deletes them. You can even have no note at all on a row to exclude the row from being played back in any kind. A right click removes all node being added so far and adds a new node on the grid slot you right clicked on. This is the quickest way to replace notes. The VFX key mapper can for example be used to build a set of one finger playable chords. Perfect for everybody who is not trained in music theory or playing keyboard. This is very handy too for so-called open chords. In this type of chords, the third gets played one octave up to spread the use frequency over a bigger range and give it a different tonality. Because of the bigger range, those open chords are harder to play on the keyboard for untrained people, especially if you add the root note one octave below to give the chord more body. I prepared open chords for a few notes already. This is all triggered by single notes. Let's extend this to all the notes available. The normal triad for G would be G, B, D. For the open chord, we put the B one octave up. The normal triad for A would be A, C, E. For the open chord again, we have to put the C one octave up. This is the problem when trying to build such open chords in a single plug-in instance. The range isn't enough for the chord of A, not to speak for the lacking chord of B. We need a different approach. 
Let's start at the bottom this time. For C, we got E and G. The E one octave up. We stay in the C major scale, so we skip all the sharps. For D, we have F and A, the F one octave up, and so on. Now we have enough space to do the open chords on A and B too. Playing single notes on my keyboard. Sounds correct, but too low. No wonder as we started one octave below. Let's compensate with the offset. Better. But we still lack of the root one octave below, which shall add some body. I duplicate the plugin in Patcher and connect it to Citrus as well. For this instance, I set it back to the default preset. But we want to have it play one octave below. So I use the offset another time. Perfect. You all will probably experience this. You created a chord and want to copy it to build a harmonic structure. But now there are notes landing off the scale. The C major scale doesn't contain any sharps, but after transposing the original chord to F, there is now G sharp. The same happens when transposing the chord down to C with D sharp. And it's clearly hearable. It sounds horrible. This is another area of application for the VFX key mapper. Setting it to the preset major with C as a root key forces now every note to play inside this scale. The sharps are in this preset transposed down. For example, for a C sharp, the plugin outputs a C instead. It's in scale, but I don't like it. Instead of transposing down, I transpose the G-sharp up to an A and D-sharp up to E. Better. If you use the scale presets for chords, it's always better to transpose the sharps up instead of down, as this will transform them to normal triads. Transposing down turns them into suspended chords, which often sound a bit off. It's not wrong, but normally not what we want. Of course, this all could have done simply by adjusting the wrong notes manually. But using the scale presets have simply the advantage that you can experiment with different chord structures as often as you like, without always having to adjust manually every time the notes which are off.